Hello world! Welcome back to another Pico Gym workout exercise video. In this video, we'll be walking through the general skills challenge, Don't You Love Banners? Let's get into it. Can you abuse the banner? The server has been leaking some crucial information on this server. Use the linked information to get to the server. To connect to the running application, use NC server port. From the above information, abuse the machine and find the flag in the root directory. Okay, so we already had the instance running, and what we want to do is link the information from that server. Let's go ahead and connect to this running application just to see what it looks like. So I'll pull up my Kali terminal up here because that's where I have Netcat installed, and we'll go ahead and paste that in, and it's asking us for the password. So that's what we need to figure out. Now, the challenge title itself and the prompt as well give us kind of an idea of where we need to start. We're going to go ahead and try to in-map this server and this port number. Now, I have ZenMap pulled up over here because I like it a little bit better. They have predefined profiles that you can select from, and you can add whatever flags you need to in this command here. As you switch profiles, it'll switch whatever the command is. It also sometimes gives us a network topology depending on the command you type and it gives us all kinds of things that you can see visually that you wouldn't be able to see just through the command line. So it's a lot prettier to look at. So we're going to go ahead and try to scan this target here. So we'll copy this and paste it into our target right here. And we're going to add one extra flag here, which is the tech P flag, which is where we can specify a port since it gives us a port to look at. That way we don't have to sit here and waste time with it looking through all ports or whatever ports are predefined. We're going to go ahead and click scan. And with any luck, we'll get some banner information. So it is the case that that port is open and it's open as a TCP port and the service that's running on it is SSH. And in this banner, it just happens to return the password that we're looking for, my password 1234. So we're gonna copy that password and use it in our password prompt here from where we netcatted into earlier. So we'll paste that in, submit that, now there's another question here that we have to answer. It's probably a security question or emulating a security question that you sometimes have to answer after putting in your password to certain sites that have user information that you have to log into to see. So it's asking us, what is the top cybersecurity conference in the world? We're going to put DEF CON. The next security question asks, the first hacker ever was known for freaking, making free phone calls. Who was it? We're gonna put John Draper for that answer. And now we're in the shell. If we do an LS, we can see that there's a banner and a text file. If we cut out the text file, it just says keep digging. If we cut out the banner, it's the welcome banner. Okay, so there's obviously more to this challenge than meets the eye and we need to go digging around in the server that we're in to see what we can find. So let's go ahead and ls tech al just in case there's any hidden directories in here. There's a bash rc profile and bash logout files we could all look in, but that's not what we're interested in. We're going to actually look at the Etsy password file to start with and see if there's anything interesting in there. Sometimes there's hashes in here we can decrypt with John the Ripper, but there's nothing in here, so that can't be it. And we can't use clear, so we're just going to have to keep going with what we have. Let's see what's inside the root directory. Oh, there's a flag.txt. Well, that's going to have our flag in it, probably, you know? We're probably not going to be able to read flag.txt, as I imagine we don't have permissions to it. And I typed in the path wrong. Yep, permission denied. So we got to figure out what we need to do to actually look at it. So we're going to do an ls tech al on slash root to see what kind of permissions we have. Because as we can see here, there's a script.py, and that is more than likely of interest to us. And we can actually read that according to our permissions, right? We have a read permission on it. So let's go ahead and cat out that script.py and see what's lurking inside of it. And as you can see from here, it's clearly prints out our banner and then prompts us for the password and the security questions. Okay, so there's probably some kind of mechanic that we can exploit in this script in order to get our flag. 
And what we want to look at and take note of is right here where it's reading our home banner and then printing out the banner. So it's going to read whatever file is called banner within our directory. So how can we trick the script into thinking that the banner is actually the flag and then printing it out? Well, it's very simple. We can use a symbolic link in order to achieve that. And a symbolic link is just a, another way of putting basically a shortcut to another file or whatever inside of another directory that it isn't located in. So let's go back to our home directory. Actually, we stayed in it anyways. And we're going to remove our banner file. And then we're going to symbolically link the flag.txt file to our home directory here. So we're going to do ln tech s slash root slash flag dot txt. And then this is the most important part here. We need to make sure to call it banner because that script is reading a file called banner. So now that we have that, if we do ls, we can see that we have banner right there. And if we cat it out now, and it'll maintain the permissions of flag dot txt from root. But script.py has root executable permissions, so it should just spit out our flag if we reconnect into the server and look at the welcome banner. Well, it won't be a welcome banner anymore. It should be our flag. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of the server. We don't care about that. Now let's go ahead and reconnect to the server. And there's our flag. Banner grabbing successfully. So we're going to copy that paste it into our flag submission, and submit. All right, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Alma Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.